it's so true. I believe there's really four root causes of our cravings. Yeah. And I talk about this in my book, but the, it's bacterial, nutritional, emotional, and physical. Ah. So the bacteria in your body, and there's maybe 10 times more of them than there are human cells of us. So they're kind of running the show sometimes. Mm. They crave sugar. A lot of them do. So like candida overgrowth. That's mm -hmm. a yeast. That so can bad, turn bad bugs crave sugar. Right. The, the, the bad bacteria, which everyone or has you, them. Yeah. It's when they start to grow out of control. Right. I used to jokingly call candida like the beast within or the puppet master yeah. and they do communicate with the brain it's via the true. vagus nerve it's like they're like driving us to the it's refrigerator so true. <laughs> it's so true right so you can have this bacterial drive that these they crave so you eat what they need mm -hmm. and then there's nutrition wait, wait, before cravings. you jump off that i just want yeah. to say something because people how do they get that well they get it by eating sugar and processed foods having yeah. antibiotics, sometimes using hormones, steroids, stress, yeah. all that stuff will cause an overgrowth of yeast, which mm -hmm. is can be candida, can be other forms of yeast. And I've seen this in my practice for decades. And when you treat it, people feel better. I had one woman, she lost 15 pounds by just giving her an antifungal to nice. change the whole dynamic in her body and the inflammation and probably your cravings. Yeah. yeah, so you can start eating, um, you know, probiotic rich foods like raw sauerkraut, start taking some good quality probiotics mm. and start taking down the refined sugars completely for a while mm. is best. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what else is antifungal? Mm. Lauric coconut oil. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Lauric acid, which is yeah. in coconut oil, which is yeah. amazing, right? So it's great stuff. Yeah. Man. So actually, we we actually prescribe in my practice something called caprylic acid, which mm -hmm. is one of the fats that's in coconut oil. We use that directly as a supplement to help treat yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so that bacterial, those bacterial cravings are real, yeah. and you need to look at that first. Yeah. And then there's the nutritional cravings. You know, you know, we are. As a, as a species, most of us are overfed but undernourished. Mm -hmm. So we get a lot of calories, but we don't get the nutrients that our body needs, the trace elements, the minerals. Yeah. So my favorite example is for women, you know, most American women especially are magnesium deficient. Yes. And our Which bodies know, they know, our body knows that if I eat a bunch of chocolate, I'm getting sugar and fat and yummy, plus it's a pretty good magnesium source. Yeah, chocolate's one of the best sources of magnesium, yeah. So I, for my serious chocoholics, I'm like, get thee to the supplement aisle and get a magnesium supplement. Right, right. <laughs> or take things like, you know, um, uh, chia seeds and hemp seeds, good sources of magnesium Almonds also. Almonds are a great source of magnesium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the emotional and the physical cravings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, people often say to me, with some shame in their voice, I'm an emotional eater. Mm. I say, sweetheart, welcome to the human race. Yeah. Like we're all, we're emotional beings. So even if you're an MMA fighter eating for the next bout, there's emotion there. You're not, I, I really think we do a disservice to people when they tell them that food is just fuel and that you should just eat to live and not live to eat. I'm like, BS, food is awesome. Yeah, of course. It's got to be it's, about pleasure for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> it's delicious. And it's how we form bonds with our family, with whoever we're dating. You know, I always like to say that eating food is the most intimate thing we do with other people in public. Yeah. It's how we bond and create story and history together. Mm -hmm. So food is emotional, but are you using it as a way to enhance goodness or are you using it to cover up sadness mm -hmm. or fear or anxiety or anger or stress? So emotional cravings, got to look at those. Mm -hmm. And then finally, there's physical cravings. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're animals. We're physical beings. We need to move. We need to stretch. We need sleep. None of us are getting enough sleep. No. No. <laughs> and we are built for pleasure. And a lot of us don't have enough fun. We don't have enough pleasure. Adults have forgotten how to play. Mm -hmm. And if we could have adult-sized equipment at the playground, I would be so happy. If I could fit my adult-sized rear end into a swing and just go swing for a few minutes every day, mm -hmm. to have fun in oh, your yeah. body. The only way we adults know how to do that is alcohol and food. Sex. 
And sex. Well, we should definitely be having more sex. I mean, I talk about, there's a chapter eight in my book, skip directly to chapter eight. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so much shame around food and around sex, especially for women, that those two things get conflagrated and confused. And I, I really want to take the shame away from that. Yeah, that's great. So, so how do people get over their cravings? How do you help them get over all that? Well, the, the first thing is, is to recognize that we all have them. Hmm. You're not bad for having a craving you might actually want to indulge whatever that craving is. Mm. Is this craving going to serve me? Or is this something that is hiding something else? Mm. Is it covering up a bacterial, a nutritional, an emotional Issue. need? Right. right. So you got to kind of work your way into those things mm -hmm. and really start to discover what's going on with you. And, you know, really ask yourself, like, what do I want? How do I really want to feel? Mm -hmm. And how am I, how are my habits with these cravings and foods and in my life setting me up to have the life that I want? Yeah. So I believe that like cravings are really one of your body's languages that speaks to you yeah. about what you need, but we don't know the language.